Hi, I'm Lou, and today I'm going to show you how to accurately measure the inertia of your flywheel for use with black box dyno. Knowing your exact flywheel inertia is really important because it determines your horsepower and torque. To start, we have to have the flywheel completely disconnected from the motor or anything else. I do have a chain hanging on there because that actually adds to the inertia. We're going to need to measure total rotations, and I made that easier by marking the spokes 1 through 16 and a pencil to watch them go by. We're going to be doing 5 and 10 pound weight drop tests and the weight is tied on a string over a pulley all the way down and wrapped around the flywheel right there. I've set up the camera to record wheel rotation here and we'll know when the weight hits here. Go! One complete turn. Two complete turns. Done. Go. One rotation, two rotations, done. I won't take time to show it here, but I ran both weights several times on average of the results. We'll need the radius from the center of this axle out to this pole point in feet. Mine was 0.257 feet, which amounts to about a six inch diameter. Here's all the physics. Here are the simple instructions you can screenshot and we'll step through them. There are three formulas. For the 10 pound drop, we had 2.556 rotations, which goes here. We had 10.688 seconds, which goes here. That gives us 0.281 acceleration. For the five pound weight, we had 2.34 rotations, which goes here. We had 14.987 seconds, which goes here. That gives us 0.131 acceleration. We put our accelerations in here and here and add our pull radius here. This formula gives us our final inertia of 276 pound foot squared. In my next video, I'll show how to hook up the black box and turn your flywheel into an inertia dyno. Thanks for watching.